Hey everyone, earlier today I posted a little question about what you guys think the most important thing to teach your dog is. I got some really great answers. Uh, recall, which is definitely a huge one, even if you're not planning on ever letting your dog off leash. Uh, dogs escape and leashes break, so that's a huge one. Uh, we had potty training, which obviously is important, um, but you can still have a well-behaved dog who isn't potty trained. Uh, jumping, also a great concept. Um, but I think that can be wrapped under one of my categories. Uh, being a good pack leader that you're in charge, um, yep, definitely a, a big key, but I think that um, in order to obtain the three concepts I'm thinking of, you would have to be a good pack leader for your dog. Um, and there was a few other good guesses. The three most important things in my opinion are uh, bite inhibition, which um, no bite was listed. Um, there is a difference between bite inhibition and no biting, which I'll get to. Um, patience, I think patience is key. If your dog has good patience, then you don't necessarily need to worry so much about the jumping and the running away. Um, that's probably the second most important thing to teach your dog. And the third thing is sociability. Um, and I don't think that your dog should be so sociable that it gets them in trouble, um, which is why patience needs to be taught first. It's great to have a sociable dog, but not if they're overbearing to people who don't like other dogs or dogs who don't like other dogs. So let's break these down a little bit more. By inhibition. By inhibition is extremely important to teach your dog and it needs to be taught by 18 weeks of age. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times I'll have puppy owners come in and their puppies aren't even um, nipping them at all and I say to actually like force your hand in their mouth and make them nip you so you can go through the bite inhibition exercise that we teach in puppy class. Um, reason being is that the dog needs to learn how hard to bite which is really not at all. Um, the concern is that a dog who has never taught this as a puppy, if as an adult they get put in a situation that makes them so uncomfortable they want to bite, they're not going to know how to appropriately warn a person to back up. And that's when a lot of damage gets caused. Um, insecure dogs who don't nip as puppies definitely are the most common ones to become vicious biters when they're an adult. Um, and, you know, puppy mouthing is something that every dog goes through, but they also don't always grow out of it. So I think that it's important to teach your dog at a very young age, before 18 weeks, that it is not appropriate to mouth a human, whether it's in a play sense or to tell them to back up. So that's the most important thing to teach your puppy at a young age. Um, after that, the next most important thing is patience. I went to an Ian Dunbar seminar last year, and one thing he talked about is how on his walks he would stop and read newspapers um, to make his dogs just hang out. Um, and then I started to think a lot more about this concept and about um, homeless people's dogs. Homeless people's dogs are extremely patient. They just hang out with their owner all day, waiting for things. Um, and yet, especially in areas like this where it's rural or a city, you know, we're kind of go, go, go people. We take our dog out for a walk, we view it as exercise. So we just walk fast to burn those calories and get the energy out. Um, but that doesn't mean that when they say a squirrel, they're gonna look at it and wait, or a person or another dog. Um, so teaching your dog patience through daily exercises is a great idea. Some easy examples that you can incorporate in your life every day are making your dog wait for their food, making your dog wait to have their leashes taken on and off, to have their toy thrown again, Again, to go out in the backyard. All these things are very important. Um, one thing that I try to do is when I'm walking, if I get a text message, I'll stop and have my dogs wait while I respond instead of walking and texting. Um, and I notice that it makes a, a big difference. Um, even whether it's just we're then walking down the street and they see a jogger and instead of being all excited and whiny to go meet the person, they'll stay more focused on me. Uh, the third thing is sociability. Obviously, sociability is very important. Um, dogs who are insecure can be uncomfortable in big situations, like if you're having a birthday party or um, a holiday event. So making sure they're relaxed in those sorts of environments are very important. 
Um, also, there's the other end of the spectrum of over-sociable, um, and that's not good either. Dogs who just run up and jump all over people and get too excited, or dogs. Um, we struggled with that with Molson when he was younger. He would see a dog and get so excited, and I would always let him go greet the dogs, and then when he got 70 pounds, I realized, oh, that's not really a good idea. So. Um, we kind of backtracked and we're teaching him patience on his greetings that just because a person's there doesn't mean you run up to them or a dog's there doesn't mean you get to go play with them. Um, so yes, we got the sociable aspect, but the social aspect also needs to be in conjunction with patience so that your dog um, doesn't make someone or another animal uncomfortable. Uh, my hound is dog reactive, as a lot of you guys know, and that's a big key for her. If a dog walks calmly up to her and lets her sniff and do her thing, she'll end up being their best friend. But if a young puppy just bolts up to her and jumps all in her face, uh, it's definitely a struggle for her. So. We had a lot of great suggestions um, and things that I definitely think are all very important to teach as well, but in overall concepts, I think that they can all be wrapped into one of those categories. And again, it's bite inhibition, which needs to be taught before 18 weeks of age, patience, um, which is important throughout everything, and sociability, which also needs to be taught um, at before four and a half months. If you have a young dog, one of the best things to do is try and introduce them to three strangers every day. And these can't be people you know because you hang out with the people that are like you. So go sit in front of Dunkin' Donuts or Ace Hardware or the grocery store and try and get your dog to meet people. Um, and then if you want to make it patient, sit at a further distance and reward the dog for calmly people watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day.